Boris Johnson should prioritize a free and open Indo-Pacific strategy after Brexit, as it will enable Britain to craft a major role for itself in future global debates, a study found. Britain and the EU have agreed to continue discussing a free trade deal until October 2. The UK's chief Brexit negotiator David Frost announced, negotiating rounds will take place in August and in September, unless agreed otherwise between the parties. Despite the new timetable, neither side is expecting a breakthrough. A fifth round of talks broke out in London at the end of last month, with Mr Frost's counterpart Michel Barnier saying a trade deal with the UK by the end of the year appears unlikely. Downing Street is said to be working on the assumption Britain will have no trade deal in place when the transition period ends on December 31. As tensions are set to rise in the incoming weeks, a paper by the Foundation for Independence sheds light on what role the UK could play in the Indo-Pacific region instead. The pro-Brexit think tank argues that as the UK reclaims its sovereignty from Brussels, it must ensure that it does not allow itself to become overly dependent on any other nations, including, and perhaps especially, China. On the other hand, the study suggests, Britain should be working extremely hard to strengthen its ties with India, a Commonwealth country, as well as other growing economies such as Vietnam, Taiwan, and South Korea. The latter three countries should be at the forefront of trade talks with the UK, the paper adds. Moreover, the report said the Pacific region and Pacific Trade Partnership also has developed democracies in the shape of Japan, Malaysia, Canada, Australia and New Zealand, the latter being Commonwealth countries, with whom Britain can re-establish trade links and develop still deeper political and cultural ties. The paper read, the adoption of a free and open Indo-Pacific, FOIP, strategy should be the metaphorical constitution of UK activity in the region.